Yes, they just added Black Cat to the game already, but I was working on a design that I thought was pretty cool, so I wanted to share it with you guys anyway. Hey everybody, welcome back to MPQ Mastery, where we teach you to destroy more gems. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at MPQ Mastery, and you can also find us on Facebook. It's an interesting thing when I sit down to try and come up with characters that I feel are missing from the game and that could add something really cool to Marvel Puzzle Quest. And when I was sitting around and thinking about it, I was like, Killmonger was really cool. I enjoyed designing him. And then I thought, man, there should be more two star characters. So the first thing I did was figure out, you know, there's a thing with some of the players that they feel like street level characters should have the lower stars and the cosmic characters should have the higher stars. And obviously that's not the way that the game works. The stars is just how powerful they are in the game construct, not in the Marvel universe. But I thought it would be really cool to have a character that was kind of more street level, but was really cool. And I wanted to maybe try my hand at designing a two-star character because a lot of the stuff that I've been designing have been more on the powerful side, you know, three, four, five-star characters. So I wanted to really try out a two-star character. And then right after I was done with it, and I posted on my Twitter that I was done with the design of Black Cat and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys, Marvel Puzzle Quest announced, yeah, by the way, we're coming out with Black Cat. And I'm like, darn it. But you know what? I wanted to share my design with you guys anyway. I actually really liked what they did with Black Cat. And I talked a lot about Black Cat in a previous video. I did a whole profile on her. Go check that out. She's a jewel thief on the level of Catwoman. She's a rival and sometimes ally to Spider-Man. Really cool character. I actually dig her a lot. Before we jump into that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you always know when MPQ Mastery releases a new video. I do also just want to remind you that I use low, medium, high. Sometimes I use X's those sorts of things because some of the numbers may range depending upon levels and I don't want to, you know, exact numbers are hard. So getting into her power set that I designed for her, the first one is called Jewel Thief. If it's shiny and expensive, then Felicia does what it takes to make it hers. It doesn't always work out though. So if the enemy makes a five match, Black Cat leaps to the front, takes medium damage, and destroys the produced critical tile, dealing low damage, but the other team still gets to get their second move after a five match like normal. Passively, Black Cat's critical damage modifier is raised by plus one for the number of critical tiles currently on the board. Now that passive ability was designed because essentially any time that you make a critical tile, it's going to up the amount of damage that she's going to do when you match that critical tile. Because she's all for having her own jewels. But she just doesn't want your opponents to have any jewels, so she'll steal theirs. The second power is bad luck for you and it's a passive ability. The deeper in the hole Black Cat finds herself, the worse luck for her enemies. Each time she takes at least low damage, increase the timer on all enemy countdown tiles by one. If this brings a tile over three, stun target for one turn. Now the thing with the timer I added after because I saw that they were utilizing her for stunning a lot. So I was like, well, let's add in an extra little stun effect. You could take or leave that little addition, but the fact that she can raise um, the enemy countdown tiles whenever she takes damage. And now you're seeing that this is going to work in conjunction with Jewel Thief. So now whenever your opponent makes a five match, she's gonna leap to the front, she's gonna take damage, she's gonna cancel out their jewel. And she's also, because she took damage, and increase all of the enemy countdowns by one and stun if it goes over a certain number. So there's a lot of mixed, like a whole lot of things kind of happening, but it is kind of contingent on your enemy making those five matches, which we know in PVE that doesn't happen all that often, but uh, it does happen sometimes. So that makes it kind of interesting. It's a little bit kind of, of a lower effect Jean Grey here. And then I have her third power as Cat's Claw. And the four star character has that as green. I had it as red, it could probably be either. But I like putting those like, hey, this is my single offensive ability. I like putting those at red, I don't know why. Black Cat's Claws cut deep and leave a lasting pain for her victims, deal medium damage, 
to target and then place a red three turn counter on the board. When it reaches zero, she deals medium again and heals for low health. So Cat's Claw is where, because obviously the first two abilities is all about her taking damage, this third ability does damage, but also allows her to heal some damage back, so it makes her a cyclical kind of character. This was the design that I came up with, and I really kind of dug the way that I came up with her. She seems like a suitable two-star character. She's on the level of, say, the two-star Storm or the two-star Bullseye, things like that. So I think that she would work out really, really well if they were to take Black Cat and turn her into a two-star. Then what they could do is now that there's a four-star, you could use this two-star Black Cat champion as a way to fuel maybe one of the Spider-Man three stars and then use that Spider-Man three star to get you your four star black cats. So you could always kind of tier it in an interesting way which will uh, invigorate the game and get you closer to those characters that you might not have. So what do you guys think of my little design here for Black Cat? I'm really interested because, uh, like I said, I designed it before and I tweaked it slightly, but really only very slightly. How would you think that this would work as a two-star character? And which other characters would you maybe link her up with? Let me know down in the comments. And obviously, if you liked this, hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. And thank you for coming to MPQ Mastery. Go destroy some gems. <laughs>